what's going on everybody it's your guy realistic and i'm doing another tutorial for soundoracle.net and in this video right here i'm going to show you the best auto tune settings for singers in 2021 and when i mean singers in 2021 i mean that style that we hear from ariana grande camila cabello sean mendes kind of that style so not so much like adele or you know kelly clarkson or jennifer hudson from back in the day not that style more the style that we hear from from those singers but first before we get into that if you're not already be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page that way you can stay up to date with our latest tutorials and videos and you'll also get tips and tricks sent directly in your mobile feed also Oracle and I have an online mixing course called the art of vocal mixing with over 150 videos and over 14 hours of professional mixing techniques in there so I'll put a link in the description below all right so let's go ahead and dive into this last Last year I did a video on the best auto-tune settings for rappers in the year 2020 and that one actually did really well so I figured I'd go ahead and show you from a singer's standpoint because it's going to be a little bit different we're not going to adjust the retune quite as hard and there's also some other knobs that we're going to go ahead and adjust that we may not do with a hip-hop vocal or a rapper if you do want to check that video out the best auto-tune settings for rappers I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below or you can click right at the top of the screen there but let's go ahead and dive in here so we got this vocal take from a singer I chose a singer that can actually sing pretty good and I think that's actually important for this technique because a lot of times people think auto-tune they're like oh okay well you know they can't sing if they're using auto-tune but that's not necessarily true a lot of times today when we see somebody like Ariana Grande or somebody like that she can actually sing really well but what they do do is they dial in a little bit of auto-tune just to give it a modern effect they're going more for a modern effect than they are to tune her vocals because she doesn't really need that much tuning and so this technique right here will allow you to get some of that auto-tune effect without ruining the performance or making them sound like a computer or a robot so that's really important so let's go ahead I have it bypassed right now let's go ahead and check out what she sounds like without any auto-tune Need your love the most Feel you coming close Hoping that you might so Okay, so that's not bad at all right there, right? So what we can do is we can use the auto-tune to just kind of give her a little bit of a modern twist to it because we can hear this track right here is kind of a, a pop track it's kind of you know there's some electronic instruments going on in it and so we can dive into the vibe of that so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll unbypass this and I like to set my retune speed when it comes to people that can sing really well somewhere between 40 and 20 you know at, because we don't want it to be too much right so right now I have it at 30 let's go ahead and give that a listen I need your love the most Feel you coming close Hoping that you might Okay, and now if I increase this, let's go up to, you know, let's just really exaggerate it so we can hear, you know, the computer sound that we're trying to avoid. I need your love the most Feel you coming close Hoping that you might so Okay, so we don't need to do that to her vocals because she can sing really well and that's just going to take away the performance. So let's go ahead and back down and we'll try somewhere between 20 and, and 30 because for this one, I still do want to give it a little bit of a, a push on the auto tune. So I don't want to like back all the way down to like 80 or 90. If we were maybe doing like more of an Adele or like a Jennifer Hudson type track, we might actually back down more to this 150 to 100 area. But for a track like this, we're gonna stick between like 20 and 30. I need your love the most. Feel you coming close. Hoping that you might. So Okay, and so the next thing that we're go oh, before I, I mention, I just assume that everybody knows this, but you do want to set your key and your scale to match the track of the the beat or the rest of the song here so i got it set to a minor because that's what the music is doing i chose soprano for her because her voice is a little bit higher on a lot of the throughout a lot of this song right here and so that's why i chose that so then auto tune knows which frequency range to focus on it just kind of helps the algorithm a little bit that's what each one of these do here okay so let's go ahead and now adjust some other things here and this is where we can start to make auto tune sound more natural and with 
without her sounding too much like a computer or giving it that that classic auto-tune sound, we actually kind of want to back off from that. So the first knob that I'm going to go ahead and adjust is the humanize knob. And that's really important when it comes to singers. If we're dealing with rappers, especially rappers that don't have a lot of training or a lot of singing, we actually want to avoid this knob right here because the more we increase this, the more apparent it's going to become that they can't really sing. And so that's why you only want to really use this when working with artists that can really sing. And so what the humanize knob does is it allows sustained notes or notes that are held out longer. It allows them to not be quite as tuned, right? And it makes sense because when a note is held out, like, you know, like, let's say we were singing, uh, you know, you and I, and we held out the word I. So like you and I, right? So the word I would not be affected as much by the auto-tune, but the words you and, those words would because we sung those faster, right? So notes that are sung faster, auto-tune and the retune speed are going to react to it. Meanwhile, the notes that are being held out, auto-tune's going to back off a little bit so it doesn't sound as tuned because our ears can catch the sound of the auto-tune. Obviously, when a note is held out longer because now we can actually hear what it's, it's doing, right? And so this will allow us to avoid that that overly tuned computerized sound on the held out notes so she actually has a held out note right here we'll keep humanize at zero for a moment then say, and then let's go ahead and increase this humanize knob then say, and then let's bring it up to uh, a lot higher so you can really hear then say, see how that how that allows her to hold the note out a little bit more without it being tuned so let's check out when she sings my reality so my real the auto tune is going to do what it normally does it's going to tune those faster notes but when she holds out the word e auto tune is going to back off a little bit here in my reality all right and then let's go ahead and increase the humanize knob in my reality see how that starts to sound more natural it's Pull it back. In my reality. And then we'll increase the humanize knob. In my reality. And then let's increase the, the retune speed so we can exaggerate it a little bit. In my reality. See how that sounds really computerized? But as we increase the humanize. In my reality. See how E on reality isn't quite as tuned. So let's go ahead and back this off a little bit. Now, as far as modern vocals, usually what I like to do is I like to set the retune speed somewhere between 20 and 30 and the humanize somewhere between 20 and 30. That way we're still getting this modern effect to it and it has that sound to it. But at the same time, you know, we're not overdoing it. We're allowing somebody that can sing to sing really well. We're just kind of allowing them to also sound like they're in the year 2021. Okay, so that for a lot of songs, that could be it right there. It's just these two knobs right there, good to go. But another knob right here, if you want to make them sound even more natural yet, is this flex tune knob. And this is really cool because what this does is it allows the singer to have more expressive performances. And what I mean by that is if we're dealing with somebody who has a lot of vibrato or if they're doing trills or if they're doing singing techniques like melisma. If you don't know what melisma is, is where you take one syllable and hold it out and make it into multiple syllables. You think about uh, what Houston's song I will always love you you know when she ho ho holds out the word I and it kind of goes back and forth that's melisma well what uh flex tune will do it will tell auto tune to ignore those notes so then it doesn't overly tune because think about that if you know you're singing in between some notes back and forth and the auto tune's just kicking in it's going to sound really digital especially if it's something like a minor second or something like that or it's a chromatic note or something it, it's going to sound really bad so this will allow the singer to have those expressive techniques without auto-tune getting in the way. And I'll show you what I mean. Then say. So let's go ahead and listen to when she sings the word might, because she's kind of, you know, having a little bit more vibrato. Hoping that you might. And let's increase the flex tune here. Hoping that you might. Right? Gives it a little bit more of a natural sound. Let's let's go a little crazy with it. Hoping that you might. Right? And then let's come back here too, because this is a good example. Then say. Right? And then let's back up. 
Ben say. And then let's increase it again. Ben say. Okay, so now what I want to do is I really want to show you what this is doing here. So let's go ahead and once again overdo it. Ben say. So you can hear that that sounds really computerized right there, right? Especially pay attention to this part. Hey. When she goes E, right? So pay attention to that part. It sounds really overly tuned right now. Hey. Right? And so what we'll do is let's increase the flex tune and let's increase the humanize and listen. Even though we got the retune cranked. Ben, say. Right? Now let's back off. Ben say. And then let's increase one more time. Ben say. Right, so it allows for a more natural performance, even though we have this retune speed cranked. Okay, so now let's actually figure out what are the settings that we're going to do, especially in the year 2021. What are we going to do here, right? So what we're probably going to do for somebody that sings as well as this, we're probably going to set her retune speed somewhere between 20 or 30. And this particular one, I actually uh, really like this singer, so I want to hear more of her and less of the auto-tune. So I'm going to choose a retune speed of 30. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the humanize here to 20. And then what I'll do is I'll set the flex tune here to 50 right and so I feel like this right here is pretty standard I've even uh, seen some uh, videos from Rihanna's engineer saying that uh, what she does she does 20 retune speed and 20 humanize and I believe flex tune is just turned off so she just six with 20 and 20 they probably adjust from song to song but that's kind of their their starting point right there but uh, again for this one I'm just gonna back off the retune speed to 30 and let's go ahead and uh, give this uh, a listen my dreams in my reality you fulfill my fantasy i need your love the most feel you coming close hoping that you might so Right, so it still gives a natural performance, but we get that kind of modern sound that we may hear on a Demi Lovato or an Ariana or a Camila song, right? And so we're not sounding too outdated, kind of really gives it that edge. So again, those are, are the settings. It's pretty simple. Um, that's what I really like about Auto-Tune. It makes things fairly simple, but you can still get a natural sound with it without having to jump over to graph mode or something like that and having to dial in things individually visually it's really time consuming by using the flex tune and the humanized knobs we can still get a natural performance without it sounding overly tuned or too robotic so hopefully these techniques helped like i said i'll put a link in the description for the video that we did on the auto tune settings for rappers i'll put a link down there and then also too i'll put a link we have a full video that breaks down everything in auto-tune from you know target notes via midi to natural vibrato to just literally how everything in auto-tune works so i'll put a link in the description below for that as well and like i said before if you're not already be sure to subscribe to our youtube page that way you can stay up to date with our latest tutorials and i know it sounds crazy but if you found this video helpful hit the like button because it really does help the algorithm and help the channel grow by doing that and don't forget about that online mixing course that we have out right now called the art of vocal mixing we actually have an entire chapter dedicated to auto-tune there's tons of videos in there and hours of content just on how auto-tune works and how you can also use it for creative effects hey thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel right here so you can catch the latest tutorials on mixing mastering and production and you can check out some of our suggested videos here here and here and of course, if you're looking for premium loops and samples, you can find that at soundoracle.net. We got plenty to choose from.